Welcome to Other Games TV and we showed Clash of Beasts. Now this is going to be some sort of turn based RPG if I may say. You're going to have different kind of campaign stages over here and you're going to try to put the best beast that you have. You're going to start the fight and you're just going to need to get more and more resources. You're going to attack a specific camp, you're going to need to destroy some towers along the way and if you're going to survive you're going to get some resources depending on your luck. Now as much as you're going to play you're going to be able to find more and more beasts, different kind of varieties for them and you're going to be able to summon more and more of them and so on. Now the game doesn't have an awesome awesome graphic honestly. From what I saw in the ads I thought that is going to be really really awesome. Well honestly it's not. Besides the fact that you're going to fight in the campaign quite quite a lot you're going to have this uh, camp over here where you can do different kind of researches, you can upgrade your safe in order for you to be able to gather more and more of those gold coins that you need to do more and more upgrades. Now you're going to need to upgrade some uh, some towers over here uh, quite quite a lot because other other players will try to attack you. I don't know if other players will attack you because I didn't saw so much activity in this game let me tell you. So as I mentioned you're going to have the campaign mode and you're going to have the PvP. Now in the PvP kind of the same idea you're still going to attack a specific camp now uh, if they have um, let's say proper defense you're going to lose but if you have stronger stronger beasts that are going to be able to destroy their defense and attack their camp their castle and collect some of the loot that you're going to be able to get out of this fight now from what i have noticed honestly uh, it's going to be hard for you to get the gold coins just by saying, uh, staying in the camp or by playing the campaign. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to come and try to find opponents that have a lot, a lot of gold coins. So every time you're going to search for an opponent in the PvP, you're going to want to see how much gold coin does he have, okay? So you're going to see that if I'm going to win, I'm going to be able to get 2,292 gold coins. Now if I'm going to search for a next opponent, sorry, I'm going to consume a specific amount of gold coins. Here it is, a higher amount of gold coins. I'm going to try to attack over here and that's how you're going to be able to get more and more gold coins by playing in the PvP. Don't fight in the campaign mode. From the campaign mode you're not going to get gold coins. Go into the PvP, although you're going to consume some gold coins, try to search for... Um, uh, let's say a player that has enough gold coins in order for you to get them and that's are going to be able to uh, get more and more gold coins to do more and more upgrades more and more researches you're going to need to play this game quite quite a lot it is victory loot 4008 uh, why it's with red let me just take a look let's see next battle and let's see probably doesn't have that amount over there so that's why 4400 or i have a full backpack with gold coins who knows let me just try to attack this guy and let's see now here it is more and more towers for this guy uh, unfortunately you're going to need to uh, play this game as i said more than i did i do have enough enough energy you're going to be able to put auto mode on and they will cast their skills uh, let's see what i got over here okay i didn't get the specific amount of gold coins that i needed now let's see why if i'm going to go back to my camp i'm going to notice that my uh, let's say gold mine it's not able to collect more than 12k of gold coins so what i need to do i need to do more and more upgrades now keep in mind this is a simple game in a way but unfortunately it doesn't have the best graphics now here are the beasts that you're going to be able to get you're going to be able to consume some some xp potions if you're going to have them you're going to be able to summon these beasts you're going to be able to complete different kind of quests that you're going to have over here and with those scrolls you're going to be able to summon those beasts uh, you're also going to be able to get quite quite a lot of energy and if you want to consume it and level up those uh, beasts uh, if you don't have those uh, potions what you're going to need to do you're going to need to go into the campaign and play the same stage again again and again unfortunately but the game doesn't have a good good graphics so that's why i'm not going to play it anymore honestly now if you have played it drop a comment let me know how far you reach don't forget to upgrade your towers in order for you to be better at the defense it's not an amazing game let me tell you but let's hope that they will improve something regarding the graphic that's definitely not something really really impressive now guys until next time take care be safe and don't forget to subscribe bye